All right, it is the second day of the 2007 Tempe Music Festival. I'm Thomas Bond here with Pat McGee and Johnny Williams of the Pat McGee Band. They just got off stage. How was it playing the Music Fest? Uh, fantastic, man. This weather, unbelievable out here, and the people were perfectly chill. I mean, we did a little acoustic show today. Normally, we're a full six-piece rock band, but right. kind of worked for what we were, you know, the, the vibe of the day, you know? Vibe of a nice afternoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it worked. Music. It worked for us. I hope it worked for them. Little Steeler's Wheel stuck in the middle with you. Yeah. Just pull that. We pull that out whenever we're like, hmm, I wonder if they might know this. So. That was a nice touch. That was a nice cool. touch. Thank you. Now, you guys, uh, your latest release is the CD, DVD, Vintage Stages Live. Is that yep, right? Yeah, that's right. How long ago did that come out? Uh, it came out, well, it came out like early for our fans in November, and then it hit stores like, I think, February. We okay. taped it last year. Yeah. Um, and uh, that thing's cool because it's got... Um, I don't know if you heard this news, but our drummer passed away last year very right. suddenly. Yes. And he played on that. Well, he's in the band for 12 years, but uh, ironically, we caught a great show um, in Birmingham, Alabama for that taping of the DVD. Cool. Um, obviously not knowing that he was sick or anything like that. Well, he just sure. suddenly passed away. And right. um, so to have that, even just for our personal you know, sake, that we always have that uh, with him on there is amazing. And so we have that full show from Birmingham, and then there's an acoustic show on the, like sort of what you saw here, but more of like a bluegrass sort of sit around with a grand piano and some guitars right. and saxophone. And it's, That's it's, cool. Yeah, it, it came out gives, good. Kind of gives two sides of the band with the electric and the acoustic. Yeah, right? we're a touring band. We've been on the road for 11 years, so we've never been able to capture what we do on stage, and that's the first thing that's really ever got it right, I think. Um, so. Now, does the CD and the DVD come in the same package, or are they two separate releases? Yeah, it's, it's the same thing, same Perfect. same, same package. It comes together. A lot of people don't realize it's a DVD they buy it, and they're like, that eh, sounds good. I'm like, have you ever watched it? They're like, watch what? <laughs> like, Come on, people, read the disc. It says DVD right on it. One's a CD, one's a DVD. Yeah, you get two, two Double things. Double package. So, um, and then we're working on a new record right now. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Um, have you started it? We did. We cut drums and bass for like nine, ten tracks, and very excited to like finish this run of dates and go right back into the studio. How long crank is it take before out. you get back into the studio? Uh, next Monday. <laughs> oh, crap. Yeah. So you're just wrapping up around oh, no, the No, I right got, we got a week off. Now, it'll be the April 16th. That's cool. So That's we've been cool. out for like, we flew to Seattle like what, 10 days ago. I don't know, a week. Feels week like we've been out something. here forever, man. Yeah. And you've got, you're sitting in with uh, the house band of Carson Daly next week, right? Yeah, Johnny and I are going to sit in. That's, that should Both be fun. Of you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. That'll be we have no idea what we're going to play, but it should be good. <laughs> now, what's the date on that? Is it April 2nd? Am I remembering right? Yeah, April April second we tape. Uh, it might air April third and fourth, something like that. Uh, Very nice. That week. Now I know over your career, a lot of Dave Matthews comparisons sort of came up in the same scene there. How yeah. does that feel? Are you sick of hearing that? Is that or is Honestly, it flattering yeah. comparison? <laughs> it, it, uh, well, it's definitely or is it flattering. Both? It's. I I just think that if people compare it because we live there and the right. name of the band. Yeah. There's an acoustic guitar, but that's about where it ends, you know? Sure. Yeah, it was um, always called Pat McGee Band, and then people started calling it PMB, and you know, I guess that was too close to DMB. So, <laughs> I, yeah, um, I've always been like, don't do that. Yeah. Curses. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I mean, yeah, those guys were, uh, you know, three four years ahead of us. Sure. Uh, you know, I was playing in little bars across the street when they were doing 1,000 people right. at a club, and I still never heard them play one song because I was so busy. Johnny and I both were playing, you know, the brown eyed girl gig as I call it in every right. little bar in, in all over Richmond. Sure. And we did that for many years until we bumped into each other and sort of started a band. But um, yeah, I mean those guys were crushing for a long time. Oh totally. I never that that music is and I know I probably speak for Johnny, it's Dave Matthews band the music is great, but it was not an influence in any way, shape or form on my music. Right. I'm a classic rock freak and sure. I have older brothers and sisters who turn me on to everything from 70s hard rock and Beatles to like 80s new wave stuff to you know guitar Stevie Ray Vaughan stuff and right. you know that world. Um, sure. Guilty well, as you as you were location. saying, it seems yeah. more like uh, you know the name is similar and, and coming out of the same scene. It's just such an easy comparison. People yeah. have been making it for years. I wish they'd be like, you guys have like the same amount of money in the bank. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> but they, I haven't heard that yet. <laughs> that would be perfect. Well, tell me what you, what else do you have coming up besides working on the new album? Any summer tour plans? Uh, def we have a huge show in Washington, D.C. Uh, with our friends Carbon Leaf, a great band from Virginia, and Stephen Kellogg and the Sixers, another great band from Massachusetts. And we're, we do this big amphitheater. Um, you know, we've done it in the past, and it's always gone well for us. So we're kind of using that as our – got to get our CD out by that date, July right. 6th. 
And uh, from so the plan there, is we'll to release out. the CD before that show. Yeah, you're the first person I've ever really told that to. So and I figure Write all the way down. out here in Arizona, no one's not going to hurt anybody. <laughs> but uh, if we tell the fans that and, it doesn't, and I don't come through for it, they'll be pissed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't I'm kind of holding off down. until I like, I, I bet mid-May I'll know for sure. Right. So um, we'll see. That sounds terrific. Anything else you want to throw out for the people that I haven't asked you about? Uh, just that we're going to be back around here again very, very soon. I mean, um, I'm trying to think of the the club we used to play in this town. Is this the place that had like Nita's Hideaway? Is Nita's that Hideaway, yeah, that was a great the, the club. Unfortunately, the, uh, the club with the that, drinkers unfortunately, recently closed down, so is there, no there's another but the around. Big Fish or something. Like the Big Fish Pub is still Airstream? around, yeah. What? Oh, the Airstream, yeah, this funny little Airstream Marquee trailer. Marquee Theater is another one, just right up the road here on the right, Avenue there as well. Tempe. Yeah, and it's it's you, we travel so much, it's hard to remember where places. Sure. You know, it's like nuts, but. That, that was always wild having like the, the fence down the middle and <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you, kids you're, on you're standing in the middle and, and the, you're like uh, you got the crazy people here and the totally sober people here right. staring at you blankly <laughs> these guys are losing their minds it's pretty wild hopefully they I'd love to play a gig without that chain link fence but yeah 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 the all ages shows have always been problematic around here that is for sure yeah anything else to talk about that you want to mention um no, that's it. Just look out for the new record. Check out our MySpace thing. It's just MySpace. Yeah, mention, mention the website. Yeah, MySpace, uh, Pat McGee Band, and um, patmcgeeband.com. And you can hear every song by the band on the website. It's all front to back, every record. Perfect. You can check it all out. And, uh, you know, it's going to get a lot more active as this new record comes out. We're going to be updating it a lot. Right on. So check it out. All right, 2007 Tempe Music Festival. Pat and Johnny from the Pat McGee Band. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks Hi, for having us, man. Hi, Mom.